Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from circle theorems. The points A, B, C, D and E lie on a circle. FG is a tangent to the circle at point D and EB is parallel to DC. Find the value of each of W, X, Y and Z. So here in the figure, we can see that we are supposed to find the values of W, X, Y and Z. So let us begin by finding the value of W first. For that, we are going to make use of a circle theorem, which is alternate segment theorem. It states that the angle that lies between the tangent and a chord is equal to the angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment. Now here you can see that I have drawn a circle and there is a tangent ABC touching the circle at point B and a chord BD is drawn inside the circle. Now this chord divides the entire circle into two segments. One is the smaller segment, we call it as a minor segment and one is the larger segment which we call as a major segment. Now according to the statement of the given theorem, if the chord makes an angle with the tangent, say for example 30 degree, then this angle is going to be reflected and is equal to the angle made by the same chord but in the alternate segment that is in the major segment. So here also it is going to be 30 degree. So let us see how we can make use of this theorem to solve the example above. Now here I have highlighted the tangent and the chord and we can see that the chord is making an angle of 20 degree with the tangent and the same chord makes an angle at point B in the alternate or in the major segment. Which means if this is angle 20 then W is also going to be 20 degree. So we can write here angle W is equal to 20 degree that is by using alternate segment theorem. Now using the same theorem we can also find out the angle X because ED is the same chord which is making an angle at point A in the major segment. So let me highlight it. So this is the tangent FDG and ED is the same chord and using the same chord an angle is made at point A in the major segment or in the alternate segment. Hence, we get the value of angle X as 20 degree as well, which is same as the angle between the chord and the tangent. So we write angle X is equal to 20 degree that is by using alternate segment theorem. Now let us look at the chord CD. So this is the chord CD and it also makes an angle of 25 degree with the tangent and through this chord there is an angle made at point A this way which means angle CAD is also going to be 25 degree. So here we have written CAD as 25 degree. Now let us make use of the parallel lines mentioned. That is it was given in the question that EB was parallel to DC. So let me highlight this. Now since EB is parallel to DC angle B becomes equal to angle D because of the alternating angles property of the parallel lines. So here we get angle BDC as 20 degree. Now after marking all these angles, let us focus on finding angle Y. And for that we are going to concentrate on the triangle ADC. Now in this triangle ADC, angle C is given as 75, angle A we got it as 25 degree and angle D is the total of Y and 20 degree that is Y plus 20. So here we can find out the value of y using the angle sum property of the triangle. Let me write here. So in triangle ACD, angle A plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. So angle A is 25, angle C is 75 and angle D is total of y and 20. So we have written here y plus 20 is equal to 180 degree. Now taking 25, 75 and 20 on the other side of the equal to sign, we get y equal to 180 minus 25 plus 75 plus 20. So this will give us a value of y as 60 degree. So now we have got the value of y. Now once we have got the value of y, the only angle to be found is angle z. And for that let us consider the straight line FDG. Let me highlight it. Now for the straight line we have the angle 20, angle 60, angle 20 and angle 25. The only missing angle is angle EDA. So to find that let us add all the remaining angles and subtract it from 180 degree since FDG is a straight line. So angle EDA is equal to the straight angle that is 180 degree minus 20 minus 60 minus 20 and minus 25. So we get the value of angle EDA as 55 degree. Now once we have got this value let us focus on the triangle BED. 
Now again by using the angle sum property of the triangle, we can write angle B plus angle E plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. So angle B is 20 degree plus angle E is Z plus angle D is total of 55 and 60 is equal to 180. So taking the angles on the other side of the equal to sign, we get the value of Z as 45 degree. So we write here the angle Y is equal to 60 degree which we got by alternate segment theorem and angle sum property of a triangle and angle Z we got it as 45 degree that is by using angle sum property of a triangle. I hope you understood all the steps and liked the video and if you found this video interesting you can click on this playlist or the video where you will find more circle theorem questions and I hope you will enjoy those videos. So if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.